Hello everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. Today we are going to make another organizer for the craft room, for the office, for you know any different spaces that you could choose to use this. If you are new here, this is my mom's dog Pip. We now take care of her and she loves to be in the crafting videos. We are going to be using all clear items today. Today we are going to be using three different organizers from Dollar Tree. The first one I have these drawers that I bought at Dollar Tree so many years ago and they've held up so well. The next thing I'm also going to be using are these bottle organizers. I recently found these at Dollar Tree. What I love about them is that they stack like this. The part that's going to be the trickiest today are these floral like centerpieces. That's what these were originally used for. So here's the floral organizer. They are a relatively new product to Dollar Tree. This is going to be a little trickier because they angle back a little bit they don't have like a 90 degree on them they angle back a little bit and i don't want them to you know lean back so much so i'm going to try to figure out a way to make them more level like that and i'm going to stack one on top of the other so that's going to be the main project for today in terms of this project everything else is just going to be i'm not going to hot glue any of it together that way i can move it around if i want to so everything else will just be connected with the connections that they already have. It's just going to be this part that's gonna be a little tricky. So let's get started. I'm originally thinking one, two, three, four on top of each other, but I'm trying to figure out a way to make them more of a 90 degree angle. And I was kind of thinking like maybe the hot glue would work. Maybe put some hot glue on it and then almost like build it up on top of itself. Like let it dry and then build it up. And then also that way it'll be clear still. I think I'm gonna to try to line them up like this and then put a little piece of hot glue on either side because it looks pretty much 90 degrees. So let's try it. I don't know if it'll be super sturdy. I'm trying to think of what I could use. Maybe like a little piece of cardboard or a little piece of paper. My hot glue idea I don't really think is gonna work. So let me see if I can find something to try to lift up this one side of the organizer. So I found some cardboard. I'm gonna try to sort of take it and build it up a little bit. The only thing is I don't want it to be really be able to be seen. So I'm wondering like if I do like this, I'm just sort of breaking it into smaller pieces to try to like stack it. I don't know. Oh, I wonder zip ties. Of course I'm thinking about zip ties. I wonder, I have an idea, hold on one second. So I just went and I was able to get some of these pieces of zip tie as a way to sort of elevate it. And then I'm just gonna take like this thicker like connection. We'll cut off these extra parts so that I'm mainly just gonna try to keep that little. It's where the attachment is. I bet this will work. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> and then it's, clear as well so you might not be able to see it as much so let's see oh yeah that like works that like works perfectly just enough to give it a little bit of a some height to it put a little dot here a little dot here putting that part of the zip tie on are they the same height looks like it I'm just gonna try to put a little dot here a little dot here and a little bit here and here on the front oh yeah that works perfectly it down for a second now it makes it almost perfectly like a 90 degree angle all right let's try the next part i shared in the last video about how i felt like using the zip ties was wasting a lot and so this is actually like a perfect way to use them those extra parts but the only thing is i don't think it's a good idea for me to keep like a ton of zip tie scraps so i don't know i happen to have some right now but do i keep them so that i can use them in the future i don't know if that's the best idea for me since i kind of struggle with knowing what's trash and what's not trash if you're new here i have a whole playlist of videos about just the struggles i've had with mental health issues so i will include that if, if you guys would like to just get a little more information about 
my journey and sort of how far I've come. I've come a really, really long way, which is awesome. I love it because you're not going to be able to see it. I had the, the cardboard and I was like, I don't know, this is going to look kind of messy. But now you can really hardly see it at all. So yeah, I love that. Puts on the front. And then on these back here, little zip tie parts, zip tie scraps. One more layer. Okay, now it's on the front, two attached on the front, and then a little bit on top of these. Right, so we have our little organizer right here. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to set it up. Like I said, this is going to be not glued together so that you can customize it and move it around as you need to. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to set it up. Originally it was going to be kind of small, maybe with just three sections, but the more I looked at it, the more I thought it needed to be a little bigger than that. So I went upstairs and I was able to get some more drawers, like these sliding drawers. Like I said, I've had these for so many years. Um, I use them to organize washi tape and they're absolutely great. So that's why I have so many of them. I think what I'm gonna do is stack them up on the outside of this, have that be like the middle part of the organizer. I think I'm gonna do nine on either side. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. I'm still trying to decide because I'm trying to exa decide exactly where I want to put those, the bottle holders. So nine, we'll do nine over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I was thinking four on each side of this, but we'll see how it works. Oops. Four of these bottles holders. So it is a little bit taller than this, but I think it makes more sense. Well, let's just switch it and see what we think. No, I think I like it the other way. But the good thing is I'm able to switch it if I would like to. Okay, so there's that. And then this right here. And then this over here. That looks really cool. I love it. I think it's so much fun and it's going to be such a, it's a larger piece, but I think it's going to be really functional for organizing a lot in one space. So now I'm gonna go get some stuff to organize in this brand new organizer. All right, so let's start by organizing some washi. I have a whole bag of it right here. And I'm going to start, I was thinking red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, maybe black and white. I have all of my decorative scissors here. I also have some crayons and colored pencils to organize. Start by organizing the decorative scissors. Um, and they're gonna go in these bigger containers. So I have my crayons and my colored pencils. So I'm going to start by organizing in rainbow order if I can. We have the last little bit organized. It looks really cool, super bright, super vibrant, and I hope that it's super functional. So let me clean up my space a little bit and then I will take the camera and share with you what it looks like up close. Here is the organizer. It is absolutely stunning. I love this project. I think this turned out perfectly. I love how it is in the clear organizers, in the clear bins so you can see everything. And like I said before, the rainbow order of all of the different items acts as a piece of decor as well. So over here we have the decorative scissors. And by decorative scissors, I mean that when you use them, they cut like a decorative edge on paper. 
So we have those on both sides. And then the next section has the washi tape in it. And these are all in drawers. So you are able to, you know, take them out when you need to. I really love how that looks as well. And of course, rainbow order again. And then in the middle, we have the twistable colored pencils and the twistable crayons. Super functional, super pretty. And since it's not glued together, the only part that's glued together is in the middle. This is just how I would like to have everything organized. And I think it looks great. So let me know in the comments, would you change up the way this is organized? How would you set up this organizer in your home? And that's it for today's Make It Monday video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this organizer. This may be one of my favorites by far. I just think it's really pretty, which to me is kind of important because I like to have my supplies also be a part of the decor in my space. In the comments below, let me know if you would make this organizer. And if you do make the organizer, feel free to share a picture with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living, on Instagram at Thrifted Living, YouTube, or you could share a picture with me through email at thriftedliving at gmail.com. I would love to hear how you guys would use this organizer. So in the comments below, let me know how would you change it? What kind of products would you organize in it? Do you add anything else to it? I would love to hear that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.